Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Visionary Kicks back here with another video. And for today's video, we're going to be working on these hats right here. If you guys seen my Instagram or my TikTok, I posted a video painting the underbrim. And it, that video did pretty good. It has about 150,000 views. So if you've seen it, thank you guys. If you haven't, make sure to check out my stuff at Visionary Kicks. But don't worry if you missed it because in this video here, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to paint the bottom of your baseball hats. So let's go ahead and get into it. Again, just a little reminder or tip. Um, I'm gonna be doing them green so that they look like the OG ones, but you can use any color. If you want blue, brown, pink, purple, whatever you want, you can do it as long as you do this method here so that it lasts. So if you guys wanna see how I paint this underbrim, just keep on watching. Let's go. For this custom, honestly, it's super simple. You're gonna need about five things. First, you need your paint. It can be any color. For this, of course, I'm gonna use a green and a white. Mix it up to get the perfect green for that underbrim. Then you're gonna need, which is very important, GAC 900. This right here is the fabric medium. You mix with your paint so that it can adhere to this fabric material right there. Then you're gonna need some tape to tape off what you don't want paint on, and it's gonna look a little something like this. Pretty crazy, right? But I am gonna be airbrushing, and that's another thing you need. You need an airbrush. Well, you don't need it, but it makes it a lot easier and a lot cleaner if you use an airbrush. So I kind of just taped it off so that no overspray could get on the hat. And then you're gonna need an X-Acto knife to kind of just curve and cut nice clean edges. All right, so that's five things you need. Paint, tape, GAC 900, X-Acto, airbrush, oh, six, and the hats, of course. All right, so let's get into it. Super simple, first things first. Let's tape off the areas we don't want any paint on. Let's go. The taping is all done. We got three hats ready to go. Check them out, nice and taped off. So for the next step, it's getting your paint. Again, you can use any color you want as long as you use paint plus the GAC 900. So for this and for the customer's request, I'm gonna be using a green and a little bit of white to get a nice OG green colorway that's gonna go on the bottom of the brim right here. So I'm gonna just mix it up. Let's see what color I get because this is a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna lighten it up just a little bit, just a little bit. And then we should be able to get the mix going with the GAC 900 and then start airbrushing it. So should be pretty simple after this. This taping part probably takes the longest and then after that it's just a quick little airbrush and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and mix our paint. Now the easy fun part, we have everything taped up as you can see right there. We got our custom color mix. Now let's just airbrush. Quick tip, when you airbrush, do not keep your brush like in the same spot, kind of flow with it. Nice and easy coats as if you were painting with a paintbrush, but this is just a lot smoother. So again, just like this. You know how we added this to our paint right here, the GAC 900? GAC 900 mixed with paint helps the paint actually adhere to the material a lot better if it's not leather. So this right here is more like a fabric piece, so you need this, right? But in order for it to actually work and keep the brim and everything factory ready to go, you're gonna need a heat gun, all right? So you just kinda wanna use a heat gun, turn it on and just make sure it's nice and dry. The heat will activate whatever's in here. So now it's all painted, ready to go. Let's just remove the tape job.
So there it is, all painted, ready to go. Got to touch up the other ones. As you saw, I got some paint brushes and cleaned it up. Especially like this piece here, since when you wear it, that's what you see. And then I got right here on the band for your forehead right here. But super clean, super easy. Now, just one final step, seal it in again, use the heat gun once more. So again, not too crazy, but just enough. So there you guys have it, fully custom, three green brims right there, from gray to green, just like that. Really simple, really easy, but I feel like it does give the hat a whole new flavor. You can barely see it there, but if you wear it, I don't know, like that or something, you'll tell, you'll tell for sure. But there it is, simple paint, GAC 900, tape to be nice and clean, and then you need airbrush or paintbrush, I prefer airbrush and then your heat gun. Your heat gun in this will be your best friend. It will keep the material nice and soft. So that way too, when you wear it, it doesn't start cracking or anything like that. So there you guys have it. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video and I'll see you guys then. Peace.